Right, question 22 of the trial stats exam paper um, is one where we have to put in information into the calculator and then do some calculations with it. So what has happened is they've looked at a, this is some data from a weight loss program and this is the weight loss in kilograms of um, some people who've done this uh, one month walk to work every day, uh, 30 minute walk. So the women are on the top, represented on the top line and the men on the bottom line. So complete the following back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot with data from the men including a key. So a key's got to be able to tell the person what we're looking for. Now, you can either go 2 slash 9, which means 2.9 kilograms, or write kilograms in there, and then gram there, gram there, and then you can fill in. So let's have a look at the men. 3.2 kilos is that, 2.5 is there, 4.8 is there, 2.7 4.1, 1 1.3, noting that this isn't ordered, 8.8 .8 down here, 2.5, 4.5, and then 1.1 .1 in there. So I'm just converting this gear into there. It's only worth one mark, so that's one of your routine questions. Part, uh, part A part 2 says compare the weight loss of the two groups. The men results seem to be bimodal. Bimodal means there are two kind of distinct areas, so if you have a look like that. Um, and the females one is negatively skewed because that has been pushed that way, which is a negative skew. Now, only worth one mark, so just talk about bimodal and the skewness would be good. Then it says write the missing values in the following uh, table to one decimal place. So this is your minimum, maximum, first quartiles, so all these kind of things, which is all on your graphic calculator. Okay, so let's just show you go back and remember how we do this. So once again you're in stats. I've put all the information in for list number one. So I'm coming down, I've got a couple more numbers to do in list two. I've got the, the eighth bit of data, which is, uh, I've got 8.8 .8 there, so now I've got to put in 2.5, 2.5, execute, then 4.5, and then 1.1. So now all my data is in there. And just checking that I've got 10 pieces of data. Now it wants us to do the calculations for the females and the males. So what we have to do is we've got to go to Calc, which is over here. Check your setup of it. And at the moment, the first variable is losing list one, list one, list one. Cool, which is what we want. And then we just go that one, and it will tell us everything. Our mean is, uh, which is X bar, is 3.03 and then we can work down from there and fill in all that information to make sure we got it right. Now for the men, we can do the same thing. We go exit, we go set, we need to change these to list two, and come down here, change that one to list two, and then go exit and then check it again. And now we've got 3.55 as our mean. Our median is here, two point nine five so that's probably three because it's asking for one decimal place. There's one decimal place here. So uh median is going to be two point nine five so that's going to be three point zero if we round that up. Um, and then you can you've got the information there. So that's coming from your calculator. Now the information from your calculator will be used in future questions. Drawing a box plot, so they've got the female one, so the male one, so let's go remember how we did that. We want to go through to graph and we want to select a graph. We want to make sure that we are, draw, we are setting it up properly. So let's look at, um, let's put them both on a, uh, a uh, graph for us. We want to go for a setup. At the moment it's going to draw a scatter plot. We don't want a scatter plot, we want a box plot. F2, and that's for list one, that's okay. And then let's go set again, and let's go to graph two. Let's try and draw a scatter. We don't want that, move the arrow down. F6 to get it to a box plot. If you've got the old old calculators, it's a med box. And it's still got list 1. We don't want list 1 here. We want it to be list 2. So then we have a back-to-back -back uh, back -back box plot. That looks pretty good. And make sure we're drawing. So that was to... I'll go back a bit. So selecting. Now we're going to select the graphs that we're going to draw. We've got the first one being drawn. And we've got the second one drawn. 
go draw and it's our back to back box plot. Okay, I haven't taken the outliers out, which could be this one here. This is the male data down the bottom, and now we can kind of draw it. You can see that our mediums line up. So on my little graph here, which I've drawn earlier on, isn't that accurate, so your median would want to be in here. Um, and then as long as we get to 8.8 here, I would also label this as well. So uh, we know what the numbers are, and that's easy enough to do. Let's just go through and do the male ones. And we are on 1.1, 1.1. Then our next one across is going to be 2.5, 2.5. Our mediums are going to be the same, which is 2.95. Oops. Okay, this is a bit messy, but you can see what I'm doing. Then 4.5 for our upper quartile, and then our maximum is going to be 8.8. .8. Okay, so it's a labelled box to box, uh, back to back box plot. Now you will need to use a ruler. Make sure you use a ruler. Make sure you label. And make sure you pay attention to the scale. You may actually have to put your own scale in. So be aware of that so you set that up properly. Um, interpret some of the measures of centre for the distribution for part B and, and compare the men and women. Okay, so what you want to look at is you know what's going on here. So let's have a look at some stuff. The standard deviation, the women's standard deviation, suggests that there's more consistent weight loss because it's smaller. Okay, the standard deviation is smaller, which is pretty cool. Um, the higher median suggests that the men lost more weight, okay, because the median in the high in that uh, men's group is above for the female, so it means generally they lost more weight. But that may be due to the fact that they have one um, piece of data that could be considered an outlier. But as it leads into part E, identify a possible outlier and suggest how it could have happened. So looking at the men's data, the 8.8 .8 kilo person could have been um, an error. It could have been misread the original weight. It could have been an error in the second weight. It could have been lots of things. Um, but that's just a suggestion because some people could lose that much weight in a month if they're doing this exercise as well as in other, other parts of fitness. Compare the mean, take, get rid of it. Uh, compare the mean in kilograms of both groups with the outlier removed. So to remove the outlier, you come back to this group here. You find out where it is, 8.8. .8, just go delete and it will take it out. Okay, you don't have to worry about taking out pairs because this isn't a correlation question. This is just a, a pure stats question. Then we can come back here and go calculate again. Let's just check to see what we're still doing. We're doing list two, which is the men's. And let's just check it again. So now what happens is our mean goes to 2.96 or nearly 3, 2.97. Okay, so nearly 3 in here. Um, which is pretty impressive. And the women's is 3.21. It shows that the women's average uh, weight loss is better because it's lower okay so that high one has actually skewed the data there for the um, male one so taking the outlier out has probably made it a bit more accurate and shows that the women are more consistent and they have lost more weight overall <laughs>